Welcome to your Chem 113 review on unit conversions with multiple conversion factors. My name is Jason and I work for the ASU Tutoring Center. So we're returning now to unit conversions to go over some very extensive unit conversions, one that take lots and lots and lots of conversion factors to get your final answer. So the idea is we're starting with a, a conversion of meters per second and we want to convert it to miles per hour. Okay. So, uh, as I mentioned in the previous conversions video, I like to use the picket fence method. So, for instance, this 515 meters per second, we can write that as 515 meters for every one second. Right? That's what meters per second means. So, now we need to convert our meters to miles and our seconds to hours. So, essentially, we, we just choose one that we want to convert first. So, we are first going to do the conversion of meters to miles. So how do we convert meters to miles? Well, we're given a conversion of kilometers to miles. So first we'll need to convert meters to kilometers and then we convert those kilometers to miles. So again, when we do this, we wanna make sure we cancel some units out. So if we're trying to convert meters to kilometers first, we need to have meters down below here and kilometers up there. That way our meters cancel out. And then our next goal is to convert kilometers to miles. So again, kilometers has to be down here, whereas miles has to be up there. That way kilometers and miles cancel. Sorry, the kilometers cancel out until we're left with miles. So now we just plug in what the conversions are. So remember how many, how many meters are there in a kilometer? Well, one kilometer is 10 cubed meters. Um, if you want to refresh on that, please go check out the other conversion video that I have. Uh, and then the conversion from kilometers to miles was given to us right here, right? So we know that one mile equates to 1.6093 kilometers. Cool. So we have now converted our meters to miles. So our only other goal now is to convert our seconds to hours. And we can do this by first going through minutes, right? So first, how many seconds are there in a minute? Well, we're going to convert seconds to minutes. And again, the seconds are on top. That way they cancel with these seconds that are on bottom. And then we'll convert from minutes to hours. Again, the minutes would cancel and we'd be left with hours in our denominator, which, give, which will give us our final answer in miles per hour. Right. Okay, so the conversion, one minute is 60 seconds. One hour is 60 minutes. So there you go. These are what all of our conversion factors look like. So when we multiply across the top, we get 515 times 60 times 60, and that's miles. Over, and then on the bottom, we have 10 cubed times 1.6093 times, well, just ones, right? The rest are ones, so we don't need to worry about them. And the bottom is in hours. And so then we just multiply across the top, multiply across the bottom, divide those out, and we can use our calculator for that. Um, but something to note, how many sig figs should we be working with? So you have to be really careful. When you do unit conversions, you don't count the sig figs of the unit conversion. So for instance, when we're converting between uh, seconds and minutes, this 60, we don't count in our unit, in our sig figs, or this one, we don't count in our, in our sig figs. So you don't actually count unit conversions in your sig figs. So in reality, all of these values, these do not contribute. To sig figs. Unit conversions do not contribute to sig figs. So the sig figs are our final answer is entirely dependent on the sig figs of our starting answer, which was 515. That's where we started, right? 515 has three sig figs. Therefore, our final answer should have three sig figs. So we do all the, the multiplication and the division, and then we uh, reduce it down to three sig figs, which gives us 1.15 times 10 to the third miles per hour, which I'm just going to write as MPH. That's how it's commonly written. Uh, in other words, very fast. Right? Imagine going 1,150 miles per hour in your car. Pretty fast. All right. Uh, thank you all for watching. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I work for the ASU Tutoring Services. 
uh, the ASU Tutoring Center. If you want more information about the free resources we have on all four campuses and online, please check out tutoring.asu.edu. If you want more videos like this that go over specific concepts from your course, or maybe you want to see what upcoming review sessions we have for the exams in your course, go ahead and check out that link below. Again, thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a splendid day.